Immersion into virtual reality VR is a perception of being physically present in a non-physical world. The perception is created by surrounding the user of the VR system in images, sound or other stimuli that provide an engrossing total environment. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology The name is a metaphoric use of the experience of submersion applied to representation, fiction or simulation. Immersion can also be defined as the state of consciousness where a visitor, Maurice Benayoun, or immersant, Char Davies' s awareness of physical self is transformed by being surrounded in an artificial environment, used for describing partial or complete suspension of disbelief, enabling action or reaction to stimulations encountered in a virtual or artistic environment. The greater the suspension of disbelief, the greater the degree of presence achieved. Topic. Types According to Ernest W. Adams, immersion can be separated into three main categories. Tactical immersion – Tactical immersion is experienced when performing tactile operations that involve skill. Players feel in the zone while perfecting actions that result in success. Strategic immersion – Strategic immersion is more cerebral, and is associated with mental challenge. Chess players experience strategic immersion when choosing a correct solution among a broad array of possibilities. Narrative immersion – Narrative immersion occurs when players become invested in a story, and is similar to what is experienced while reading a book or watching a movie. Staffan Bjork and UC Holopainen, in Patterns in Game Design, divide immersion into similar categories, but call them sensory-motoric immersion, cognitive immersion and emotional immersion, respectively. In addition to these, they add a new category, spatial immersion, which occurs when a player feels the simulated world is perceptually convincing. The player feels that he or she is really there, and that a simulated world looks and feels real. Topic. Presence Presence, a term derived from the shortening of the original, telepresence, is a phenomenon enabling people to interact with and feel connected to the world outside their physical bodies via technology. It is defined as a person's subjective sensation of being there in a scene depicted by a medium, usually virtual in nature. Most designers focus on the technology used to create a high-fidelity virtual environment, however, the human factors involved in achieving a state of presence must be taken into account as well. It is the subjective perception, although generated by and or filtered through human-made technology, that ultimately determines the successful attainment of presence. Virtual reality glasses can produce a visceral feeling of being in a simulated world, a form of spatial immersion called presence. According to Oculus VR, the technology requirements to achieve this visceral reaction are low latency and precise tracking of movements. Michael Abrash gave a talk on VR at Steam Dev Days in 2014. According to the VR research team at Valve, all of the following are needed to establish presence. A wide field of view, 80 degrees or better. Adequate resolution, 1080p or better. Low pixel persistence 3 milliseconds or less. A high enough refresh rate greater than 60 Hz, 95 Hz is enough but less may be adequate. Global display where all pixels are illuminated simultaneously, rolling display may work with eye tracking. Optics at most two lenses per eye with trade-offs, ideal optics not practical using current technology. Optical calibration Rock-solid tracking, translation with millimeter accuracy or better, orientation with quarter-degree accuracy or better, and volume of 1.5 meter or more on a side. 
low latency 20 milliseconds motion to last photon 25 milliseconds may be good enough topic <laughs> immersive virtual reality Immersive virtual reality is a hypothetical future technology that exists today as virtual reality art projects, for the most part. It consists of immersion in an artificial environment where the user feels just as immersed as they usually feel in everyday life. Topic. Direct interaction of the nervous system The most considered method would be to induce the sensations that made up the virtual reality in the nervous system directly. In functionalism, conventional biology we interact with everyday life through the nervous system. Thus we receive all input from all the senses as nerve impulses. It gives your neurons a feeling of heightened sensation. It would involve the user receiving inputs as artificially stimulated nerve impulses, the system would receive the CNS outputs natural nerve impulses and process them allowing the user to interact with the virtual reality. Natural impulses between the body and central nervous system would need to be prevented. This could be done by blocking out natural impulses using nanorobots which attach themselves to the brain wiring, whilst receiving the digital impulses of which describe the virtual world, which could then be sent into the wiring of the brain. A feedback system between the user and the computer which stores the information would also be needed. Considering how much information would be required for such a system, it is likely that it would be based on hypothetical forms of computer technology. Topic. Requirements Understanding of the nervous system a comprehensive understanding of which nerve impulses correspond to which sensations, and which motor impulses correspond to which muscle contractions will be required. This will allow the correct sensations in the user, and actions in the virtual reality to occur. The Blue Brain Project is the current, most promising research with the idea of understanding how the brain works by building very large-scale computer models. Ability to manipulate CNSTHE central nervous system would obviously need to be manipulated. Whilst non-invasive devices using radiation have been postulated, invasive cybernetic implants are likely to become available sooner and be more accurate. Molecular nanotechnology is likely to provide the degree of precision required and could allow the implant to be built inside the body rather than be inserted by an operation. Computer hardware, software to process inputs, outputs a very powerful computer would be necessary for processing virtual reality complex enough to be nearly indistinguishable from everyday life and interacting with central nervous system fast enough. Topic. Immersive digital environments An immersive digital environment is an artificial, interactive, computer-created scene or world within which a user can immerse themselves. Immersive digital environments could be thought of as synonymous with virtual reality, but without the implication that actual reality is being simulated. An immersive digital environment could be a model of reality, but it could also be a complete fantasy user interface or abstraction, as long as the user of the environment is immersed within it. The definition of immersion is wide and variable, but here it is assumed to mean simply that the user feels like they are part of the simulated universe. The success with which an immersive digital environment can actually immerse the user is dependent on many factors such as believable 3D computer graphics, surround sound, interactive user input and other factors such as simplicity, functionality and potential for enjoyment. New technologies are currently under development which claim to bring realistic environmental effects to the player's environment, effects like wind, seat vibration and ambient lighting. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Perception. To create a sense of full immersion, the five senses sight, sound, touch, smell, taste must perceive the digital environment to be physically real. Immersive technology can perceptually fool the senses through Panoramic 3D displays visual, Surround sound acoustics auditory, Haptics and force feedback tactile, Smell replication olfactory, Taste replication gustation. Topic. Interaction Once the senses reach a sufficient belief that the digital environment is real, it is interaction and involvement which can never be real, the user must then be able to interact with the environment in a natural, intuitive manner. Various immersive technologies such as gestural controls, motion tracking, and computer vision respond to the user's actions and movements. Brain control interfaces BCI respond to the user's brainwave activity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples and applications. Training and rehearsal simulations run the gamut from part task procedural training often buttonology, for example, which button do you push to deploy a refueling boom through situational simulation such as crisis response or convoy driver training to full motion simulations which train pilots or soldiers and law enforcement in scenarios that are too dangerous to train in actual equipment using live ordnance. Video games from simple arcade to massively multiplayer online game and training programs such as flight and driving simulators, entertainment environments such as motion simulators that immerse the riders, players in a virtual digital environment enhanced by motion, visual and oral cues. Reality simulators, such as one of the Virunga Mountains in Rwanda that takes you on a trip through the jungle to meet a tribe of mountain gorillas or training versions such as one which simulates taking a ride through human arteries and the heart to witness the buildup of plaque and thus learn about cholesterol and health. In parallel with scientists, artists like Nobotic Research, Donna Cox, Rebecca Allen, Robbie Cooper, Maurice Benayoun, Char Davies, and Jeffrey Shaw use the potential of immersive virtual reality to create physiologic or symbolic experiences and situations. Other examples of immersion technology include physical environment, immersive space with surrounding digital projections and sound such as the cave, and the use of virtual reality headsets for viewing movies, with head tracking and computer control of the image presented, so that the viewer appears to be inside the scene. The next generation is VIRTSIM, which achieves total immersion through motion capture and wireless head-mounted displays for teams of up to 13 immersants enabling natural movement through space and interaction in both the virtual and physical space simultaneously. Use in medical care New fields of studies linked to the immersive virtual reality emerges every day. Researchers see a great potential in virtual reality tests serving as complementary interview methods in psychiatric care. Immersive virtual reality have in studies also been used as an educational tool in which the visualization of psychotic states have been used to get increased understanding of patients with similar symptoms. New treatment methods are available for schizophrenia and other newly developed research areas where immersive virtual reality is expected to achieve melioration as in education of surgical procedures, rehabilitation program from injuries and surgeries and reduction of phantom limb pain. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applications in the built environment. 
In the domain of architectural design and building science, immersive virtual environments are adopted to facilitate architects and building engineers to enhance the design process through assimilating their sense of scale, depth, and spatial awareness. Such platforms integrate the use of virtual reality models and mixed reality technologies in various functions of building science research, construction operations, personnel training, end-user surveys, performance simulations and building information modeling visualization. Head-mounted displays with both three degrees of freedom and six degrees of freedom systems and cave platforms are used for spatial visualization and building information modeling BIM navigations for different design and evaluation purposes. Clients, architects and building owners use derived applications from game engines to navigate one-to-one -one scale BIM models, allowing a virtual walkthrough experience of future buildings. For such use cases, the performance improvement of space navigation between virtual reality headsets and 2D desktop screens has been investigated in various studies, with some suggesting significant improvement in virtual reality headsets while others indicate no significant difference. Architects and building engineers can also use immersive design tools to model various building elements in virtual reality CAD interfaces, and apply property modifications to building information modeling BIM files through such environments. In the building construction phase, immersive environments are used to improve site preparations, on site communication and collaboration of team members, safety, and logistics. For training of construction workers, virtual environments have shown to be highly effective in skill transfer with studies showing similar performance results to training in real environments. Moreover, virtual platforms are also used in the operation phase of buildings to interact and visualize data with Internet of Things IoT, devices available in buildings, process improvement and also resource management, occupant and end-user studies are performed through immersive environments. Virtual immersive platforms engage future occupants in the building design process by providing a sense of presence to users with integrating pre-construction mock-ups and BIM models for the evaluation of alternative design options in the building model in a timely and cost-efficient manner. Studies conducting human experiments have shown users perform similarly in daily office activities object identification, reading speed and comprehension within immersive virtual environments and benchmarked physical environments. In the field of lighting, virtual reality headsets have been used to investigate the influence of facade patterns on the perceptual impressions and satisfaction of a simulated daylit space. Moreover, artificial lighting studies have implemented immersive virtual environments to evaluate end-users' lighting preferences of simulated virtual scenes with the controlling of the blinds and artificial lights in the virtual environment. For structural engineering and analysis, immersive environments enable the user to focus on structural investigations without getting too distracted to operate and navigate the simulation tool. Virtual and augmented reality applications have been designed for finite element analysis of shell structures. Using stylus and data gloves as input devices, the user can create, modify mesh, and specify boundary conditions. For a simple geometry, real-time color-coded results are obtained by changing loads on the model. Studies have used artificial neural networks or approximation methods to achieve real-time interaction for the complex geometry, and to simulate its impact via haptic gloves. Large-scale structures and bridge simulation have also been achieved in immersive virtual environments. The user can move the loads acting on the bridge, and finite element analysis results are updated immediately using an approximate module. Topic. Detrimental effects 
Simulation sickness, or simulator sickness, is a condition where a person exhibits symptoms similar to motion sickness caused by playing computer, simulation, video games Oculus Rift is working to solve simulator sickness, motion sickness due to virtual reality is very similar to simulation sickness and motion sickness due to films. In virtual reality, however, the effect is made more acute as all external reference points are blocked from vision, the simulated images are three-dimensional and in some cases stereo sound that may also give a sense of motion. Studies have shown that exposure to rotational motions in a virtual environment can cause significant increases in nausea and other symptoms of motion sickness. Other behavioral changes such as stress, addiction, isolation, and mood changes are also discussed to be side effects caused by immersive virtual reality. Topic. See also. equals equals footnotes